So I wanted to talk to you all today about the importance of sound and vibration and that your vibration is important as well. In order to communicate on the other side, we have to lift our vibrational tone, which is why I say to you that you must remain positive. Let's lift your vibration, rise above it. Don't entertain negative thoughts. It is a vibrational, almost like a sound. And every component that you're made up with, all of your chakras, have a vibration, a note, so to speak, which is what uh, OM music or gong bath or tuning forks or singing bowls are about. They too are to realign your chakras. If you started out in life um, and you had a difficult time, the first chakra is developing between 0 to 7 years old. And what then happens is its tune or note is not correct because it has had trauma. It doesn't matter what the trauma is. If the child feels it's a trauma, then the note will not be right. And so on and so forth. Your chakras usually develop between uh, uh, 7 to 14 years, the next one up, uh, 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 and as I said, so on. So in those times, whatever difficulties we have had, will make an impression like a shrapnel wound on that chakra. So it isn't really any good anybody saying to me, oh, I am really high vibrational or in tune, or my chakras don't need tuning, because they do, everybody's do, on a daily basis virtually, but we can't do that. Because every little bit of stress that you have impacts somehow on the body. And that has a domino effect. So that some people, as a result of that base chakra being out, can suffer from low self-esteem, anxiety and uh, depressive issues. As we go up, uh, the next chakra that was developing from 7 to 14 can cause us a problem with uh, our zest for life and enthusiasm. Our joy, so to speak. So we're tipping the balance every time something happens to you. And of course it does shape you. But what we can do is realign those chakras and reprogram. You're on a journey, a journey that takes you into a different realm. And in order to get that right, and in order to be on the right vibration and get the right messages, there is a discipline involved. It does not come overnight, however psychic you think you are. So me, on my journey, uh, uh, likewise, I had all manner of different things happen. I investigated crystal therapy, sound, gong bath, meditational uh, 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 meditations that had good sound to them. But not only that, diet. I need to talk to you about diet. For about seven years, whilst I was developing my psychic awareness, I did not eat highly process, processed or sugary foods. I did not eat red meat. I did not eat, well, in fact, I didn't eat any meat, actually. Um, and my diet changed and I drank loads of water. It was a discipline to make sure I was a clear channel for receiving their messages and vibration and I had no blocks or no digestive blocks so I realigned the chakras and I also uh, uh, looked at my diet. I cut out certain things like I wouldn't entertain bad thoughts or negative news or neg even newspapers. I didn't read newspapers. I didn't look at the news. So you will say to me, oh, well, I don't know how long you could function that way. But actually, in my bubble, it was beautiful. It was absolutely great. And it lifted the vibration so much that I had a clear uh, channel to the other side and was able to get clear messages. I want you for a week to detox. I want you for a week to drink lots of water and try to eat raw vegetables and fruits. I want you for a week to listen to sound and to see what sounds really do it for you. 
and I want you on the homework page to report back to me how you're getting on. All of this is a discipline and if you want to be the best psychic then I'm afraid you have to get disciplined. Thanks for listening.